Good day everyone and welcome back to Godly Motivation. Today we want to reference how much the Bible talks about the importance of having a peaceful home and using prayer as a way to bring peace, stability and love to a particular house. Isaiah 32 and verse 18 says, My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. If you clicked on this video, chances are that you and your family possibly spend more time at home than anywhere else. It is extremely important for your house to be a peaceful place that provides a spiritually healthy environment for everyone to live together. One important way to ensure that you have a healthy home atmosphere is to pray over your home. Prayer is powerful and prayer changes things. When you pray over your house, you welcome God's loving power into it. You welcome his protection over every corner of your house. You welcome his peace in the hearts and in the conversations of the people who live and reside there. When you welcome God into your home, he becomes the silent listener to every conversation. He becomes the head of your household. He becomes the one who is there when no one is thinking that he is there, but they all need him to be there. Dictating your house to God through faith is extremely important. Joshua 24 and verse 15 says, Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Before we get into the prayer for your home, scripture tells us that unless the Lord builds the house, they who build it, they labor in vain. In other words, the plans you have, the discussions you have, the disagreements that may happen in this house, they will be at risk of destroying your family if the Lord is not present in some shape or form. But when you do things God's way according to his word, the peace of God will dwell there even when you are not present. The Bible tells us that the promises of God are for you and your family, they are for all your relationships, but you have to grab hold of them by faith and put them into practice. If you don't know his word, how can you know his plan? You might be thinking, well I go to church, my husband doesn't go to church, or my child is away from God right now and I don't know what to do. Well I have good news for you. In Acts 2 and verse 39, it says that the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off. God says there is nothing far off that his word cannot bring close by. This is where we have to trust that God is at work even when we cannot see it. Our hands may be tied, my friends, but his hands are never tied. If you have been building your own house by grumbling or complaining or trying things on your own strength that you think you can do all on your own, today is the day to let go of all of that and to speak these words of faith over your home and your relationships. We are going to pray for your family and trust that God is working behind the scenes. Lord, we come before you today with this wonderful prayer offered up to you from the deepest parts of our heart. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, for our families, for our home. We thank you that we have a place to call home and people in it that we can call family. We ask that you send your Holy Spirit into every space throughout this house. And we ask that this be a holy place that is consecrated by you. Help each member of this family and every person who comes into this home to be faithful to you in what we say and what we do. We choose relationships with you just as you choose relationships with us. We thank you for your great love that sustains us and we ask you to please fill our home with your love. Help each individual to open themselves up to you and your love day by day and allow this love to flow through their lives and through the lives of others. I ask you to empower us to take this love even outside of our home and to our neighbors, into the world, to our friends, 
to our associates, even to strangers that we meet on a daily basis and help people to see this light that is shining through us that comes directly from you. Almighty God, we ask that you guard our home through the power of your Holy Spirit. We cast out all evil from this space, now and forevermore, even after our generation has passed. We ask that you send your holy angels to our house whenever we need them. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you make this place a strong faith that repels what is bad and embraces what is good. We trust you, Father God, to take control and to shun every attack of the enemy, regardless of how small or how big it may be. Almighty God, we are grateful for your work in our lives, which inspires us in awe, which inspires us in truth, which inspires us on each day that we wake up with new breath in this wonderful home. Help us to notice your wonderful work around us as we take Take in a deep breath each new morning and realize that your goodness circulates within these walls. Wake us up to what you're doing in our relationships. As we seek out wonderful signs of your love almighty God during our daily lives here, meet us where we are and help us to connect with you on a different level, on an individual basis and as a family. Lord, I thank you for your constant presence with us. As we walk through each room in our house, please bless every space we go, our living room, our kitchen, our bedrooms, our bathrooms, the basement, the attic, the garage, the washroom, the dining area, everywhere that we go. If we even have a patio and even a doghouse, we ask that you bless those in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May every section of our house be consecrated to you and reflect your love, your peace, and every other fruit of the Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for always being here. Be here in our relationships. Be here in our disagreements. Be here in our conversations. Be here in our going out and our coming in. If we bring people to this house, Father God, even if they are not under your roof, bring them under your roof. If people come here with negative intentions, we declare and decree that your power will be so powerful that it will change their heart as soon as they enter our home and help them to leave a changed person. I thank you for all that you are doing for this house now. I thank you for all that you've done for this house in the past and I thank you for all that you will be doing for this home in the future. I put it all in your hands right now and I declare and decree that this house is blessed. This home is blessed. The families and the people that gather here are and will be blessed. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. If you've made it this far in this video, I ask you for just one simple favor and that is to click that like button and if you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I thank you again for tuning in to Godly Motivation and I pray that you really enjoyed this prayer and you said it over your home. I pray that blessings will overflow in your house, in your homes, in your families, in your going out and in your coming in and in the name of Jesus you will Will be blessed. Please feel free to leave a positive word in the comment section below so persons who listen this prayer in the future will be able to see a positive word from you and also be blessed even further. Thanks again for tuning into Godly Motivation and I trust that you will have yourself a blessed and a wonderful rest of your day.